let us never negotiate out of fear. Let us not fear to negotiate. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. How many of you negotiate every day? Every moment. Don't you negotiate? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, negotiation is there in every moment in your professional life, business life, personal life, and with you yourself. For example, I had an experience yesterday. Uh, one of the person has come. One of my uh, teammate has come from Norway, and uh, he was uh, wearing a hat. He has tortured his head. He was wearing a hat. I had a thought. I had to negotiate my thoughts to ask, what is it? Why? Because prior to that, I had an experience where I was just commenting, hey, you had a new hairstyle. Unfortunately, I came to know that his father has passed away. So negotiating your thoughts at each moment is also required. Good, bad, required, not required. For example, if I need to get my son's homework done so that we can watch the movie in the evening, you have to negotiate. And negotiation with a child is as a mammoth task as moving an elephant. You talk about the subject, in another minute, he will say, um, I need to go and play. My teacher told that completely out of the subject. Coming back to the negotiation, so we, for a successful uh, life, we need the essential negotiation skills. In addition to talking to a stranger, which was the first project, the second project, this is about negotiation. I had tried to digest the negotiation into this chart. I will guide you through the negotiation skills. You need to nego negotiate. What do you think is negotiation means? Negotiation involves one or two people. It is not one, two or more. So you negotiate both the parties if they live smiling, happy, feeling that they are successful, then it is a successful negotiation. Negotiation, first step is about how many of you know KYC? Know your customer. Likewise, know what you want. First step, know what you want. Obviously, the second step, know what the other party wants. Once you know each other what you want and the negotiator is expecting, then you try to list down the options available. You try to list options. For example, you know that the employee is coming for a pay rise. So you start jotting down how many days he has taken leave, how many quarters he has been in, why he did not deliver the project, on a critical day why he was absent. Then the employee himself, he will list down. You, you have not promoted me, I have been on APAN always. Why, why, why? So he will come out of these points. Then both of us, the negotiators, should go for of alternatives. What if the guy chooses option one? I go for an alternative. I tell him, okay, you do better in this, the next term, I will get you the next salary hike, or I'll promote you, or I'll transfer it to another department where you can prove your skill. Then you come out with a strategy to <laughs> attack, <laughs> not to attack, to negotiate. You come out with a strategy. This is the most important part of it. You come out with a strategy where you can make the negotiation win-win. Let's come to win-win later. So once the strategy happens, then it leads to a discussion. Discussion is the very difficult part. You can do all your homework. The moment you engage a human being, you start conversing with a human being, not with the machines, there comes the challenge. Like that was master who comes to the stage. We prepare well. The moment we come here and start engaging audience, then you start talking with their thoughts, their reactions. 
the same way you have to be very very technical in leading the discussion there are very very essential tips in leading the discussion for example when you talk to someone very basic skills so first you have to listen you have to listen when you are negotiating don't try to influence or make them fail make it a open discussion you know that you have a point don't pick on the point and drive the discussion and try to push him to the place where you think that he will fail don't do that and when there is an idea for example you suggest an alternative i say can you move to the other department then the person says can i work from calcutta it's my hometown so be open to that sort of discussion accept the abuse then you change your negotiation based on what this expectation is then you also drive towards winning your point he also comes back down so that he comes back to the winning there is a win win situation and also when you think that the negotiation is not as per your accepted um, point then be open and tell the person don't say i don't accept just tell it in a subtle way subtle way where he understands tell him uh, i may not be able to concede to this request nor my management can do this for you i have an alternative can i suggest doing this then you start your negotiation from there on then the cycle goes and another uh, thing is don't discount any idea discount any idea however small it may be and the other important point is to offer the uh, offer give the offer and explain it clearly you tell him this is what is i am expecting and for that this is what we as as two, two negotiators we will arrive at this point so be precise and concise in what you want to achieve so when you do that eventually what happens and there are very few uh, general tips as you know it's breaking the ice when you start negotiating uh, hey come in what happen what do you want don't do that sort of discussion like we break ice here break the ice ask about his family his personal life social life how how good he is he today that sort of questions will make him feel better then you always use this i word right i think i propose don't say we he is talking to a person you can negotiate to a person between person you cannot negotiate on behalf of a management don't do that don't say we which means you are not giving a personal feeling to that discussion always appreciate appreciate the person so he feels better to drive the discussion and don't beat around the bush just be within the issue don't try to deviate then let he might start complaining about something then you get into a discussion where it will never end and be honest and direct so these are the basic uh, skills required and these are the four different ways obviously we know either of both wins one lose one win or both of us lose so with this project i'm going to try a role play where uh, i have a role play person i have we have chosen a uh, scenario we will go through that role play and then we can have a quick discussion on how it went uh, so this role play uh, prashribun is going to help me please come here so the scenario is something like this prashrabhan is working with me i am his manager he has resigned his job i have got his email so i had invited him to a discussion uh this is a role play and it is for 3 to 5 minutes hello prashrabhan so how are you doing today nice so <laughs>
the morning. Yeah, first I woke up late. <laughs> then went for late breakfast. How can you such a nice manager won't mind? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. But yeah, <coughs> we have to have the balance between our personal and social life and also our professional life as well. Okay, and I had received an email yesterday from you from saying that uh, you wanted to look for another opportunity. for you for three years and you don't give me a hike. <laughs> At least an annual hike should be this. What do I tell dad? I've been running the same salary for past three years. Where is the learning? And the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mr. Um, yeah, let's 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 take one by one. Uh, you have your uh, performance appraisal system that you have you you do every uh, half daily that we do in our uh, uh, put your board there. Yes, and at my TL gave me twice B upload award for good performance, and I get a thousand rupees only per award <laughs> okay. at one time. Okay, okay. So you had been given a good rating. Yes. Okay, and still you are not given a raise. Is that your yes. concern? Okay. So uh, let me just try to explain you uh, how this works in a uh, big organization like like us. You, uh, we, we all do our appraisals in the system, but the most important thing is uh, we are proud to say that we have as good workers as you, and most of us are in the same van. People do better, and we need to have a normalization mechanism where we tend to compare on different aspects. So we do uh, compare on the salary, we do compare on the other aspects of their professional career, and that is where could have uh, made a difference. And I can certainly get much more uh, detailed uh, updates on why you were not given a pay raise. Uh, obviously, you know that because of the market condition, we didn't have a pay raise throughout the board last year. Yes. So, um, my question is, um, is that the only concern? If that has been addressed, would you be uh, staying back with us? Because I know you had been uh, given, a, given a tremendous uh, effort and attention at your job and also you had given lot of value to the project. I was staying to work also and help a bit. I am getting the same kind of work for three years. The point, where is the new learning? If I can be given some different job additionally, it will help me experiment more. Okay. Okay, I, I take that point. Um, I think uh, there are few roles uh, coming up in another project where you have to drive the learning uh, development within the team, but also you have another role to take some leadership. Yes, I will be. Is there extra money? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. There will be there will be extra, obviously, because when you take up such leadership roles, you might be put in a different way, and obviously, uh, a normalization expects people people to move up the ladder and develop their skills. Of certainly and obviously, you will have a pay raise because you will be promoted to a the next level or to the leadership or corporate level. When is that happening? We have had a discussion today. Um, within the, the, we have our operating cycle every, uh, cycle every uh, hopping. Certainly, we will consider. I, I would, I would still suggest. Would you, would you still want to take back uh, the, the, the resignation letter? Then we can talk about getting the things done. What we had raised now. How much percentage increase would you like? <laughs> okay, as a, as a manager, I would say. Uh, more of uh, it would be more of 10 percent to 20 percent than the rating today. Maybe I can give a shot one more year, see if I can experiment more with that small increase. <laughs> okay, 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 certainly, certainly. We will, we will take this discussion further in our.